Abubakar, the Registrar General of the Corporate Affairs Commission. At about 10.20 hours this morning, some of our critical staff were around because we have our servers running 24-7. There was a power surge which affected one of the split air conditioners, the outer duct of the AC, and it caught fire. The few personnel and the electricians that were around mobilized using the fire horse reel and the fire extinguishers. They quenched the fire. But unfortunately, through the outer duct, the fire had descended to the fourth and fifth floor through the fire duct. And because of the height, they couldn't mobilize enough resources. So we had to invite the fire service came almost immediately. You've seen the place and they were able to contain it. It didn't affect any of our records. The only thing affected was that unit, that one unit of two horsepower air conditioner. We have already restored light in these premises. We are restarting our servers and uh, we have uh, our personnel. Since the lockdown, we have critical personnel within the building, particularly our plumbers, our electricians and some few staff that needed to keep our servers up and running because despite the lockdown our staff are still working from home we still render registration services from the comfort of our homes so these servers have to be up and running so as i've said there is no cause for alarm the fire has been contained and uh, we've restored light and we are restoring the servers to continue normal activities we didn't suffer any casualty, we didn't suffer any loss. So we thank God for the prompt action of the few personnel and the prompt response of the Abuja Fire Service. Thank you. The personnel sleep here since the lockdown. They don't go anywhere. They stay in this office. They sleep here. We had to give them additional incentive. You can see some of them. Be, this is their third week in this building. So, so, but we maintain critical infrastructure. You can have servers running. They, they, they emit a lot of heat. The air conditioning system has to work. So you have to keep the ACs working. And it was the vigilance of this personnel that even detected this, this, this bust. So as I've said, even though the country is in lockdown, the government didn't say you cannot work from your homes. You can only work when the infrastructure is up and running. And we have to keep these infrastructures up and running. The staff don't commute every day. They stay within this building and they agree to do it because we are also a critical national institution that renders services not just to Nigerians but to people from outside Nigeria. Officer, at this point in time, what word will you be saying to your... We just want to reassure them that we've not suffered any loss. No data is lost. No single document is lost. The only thing that is lost is one unit of two power horsepower air conditioning. And we have isolated it. We have isolated the cables. You can see while you are coming in, lights have been restored. And we are continuing with our normal operations. Remotely, not here. So, but the critical staff will remain in this building. If they were not around, only God knows what will, what will have happened. It was our vigilance and foresight that made us to keep some of them here, even during the lockdown. So you cannot just keep ACs running without leaving any staff within the building. Allergic Garba Abubakar, the Registrar General of the CSU. Thank you.